Well, go on, everybody. I am your Jamaican queen, Miss Y. You are tuned into How I See It TV, and this is Accurate Context. Before I get into the video, I just want to say, yay, I'm finally at a thousand subscribers, and I promise that as I navigate, um, this youtube community i'm going to share the process so at 500 subscribers you get to start receiving super chats and super stickers and at a thousand subscribers you're able to monetize and become a youtube ads partner so now because i'm at a thousand subscribers you start to see um, YouTube ads on my videos, which means that I'll be earning, you know, a couple of cents <laughs> um, with every ad that's attached to any of my videos that is monetized. So I'm thankful to everyone who hit that subscribe button. Please continue to like my videos, share the link to this video and the rest of my content if you feel my content needs some crowd and subscribe if you are over here in my yard and you have not subscribed just yet so y'all saw the thumbnail and you saw my title so you know exactly why you are listening to this video because stormy steals canvas beauty brands COO, Chief Operating Officer, Kyle, decided that he was going to respond to some of the things that some content creators have been saying as they speculate and provide their opinions on whether or not they feel like the Canvas Beauty um, Body Butter is a white-labeled product or a private-labeled product. And Kyle, he left this long thesis statement on show styles and spirits um, comment section. And the statement he, he posted was read on Here for Hot Tea's channel. And I think shows, shows um, styles and spirit also read his statement. I'm not going to read the statement, but I will leave the link to both their videos so that y'all can go over there and see what he had to say however i'm going to give like a quick summary of what he said and specific parts one kyle is saying that he doesn't understand why the conversation about chemists is he is even happening and i guess he doesn't know that it's happening because his CEO, Stormy Steele, was the one who brought the chemist conversation to the chat. She's the one that brought white labeling and private labeling to the chat. She's the one who said it in this long post. And then when she was being called out because the post that she made talking about real chem, the real chemists know that it takes months, even years to come up with a good formula and blah, blah, blah. And she talked about, well, if you're not white labeling your products, then it's going to take a long time for you to launch. It seemed like it was shade because coincidentally... When Stormy made those statements on her social media, Melody had just made a post, like maybe hours prior, launching Sugar Mama's uh, line. So I guess Stormy didn't tell Kyle that that's the reason why she had been receiving the backlash that she's been receiving even to this day. And then Kyle also says that other products that we see out there are dupes of the Canvas Beauty brand's body glaze. And that statement right there is why I'm doing this video. Because one thing I don't like is when people are playing in my face. 
when people are gaslighting and making me feel like, damn, am I crazy? Because I know I've seen the body glaze years before Stormy came out with her body glaze. To the point where there are even companies whose name is pretty much glaze. (laughs) And I'm going to show y'all. Now, I'm not knocking Stormy and her hustle. I'm not knocking Canvas Beauty. There is enough space in business for there to be multiple brands doing the same thing. But what Kyle and Stormy needs to understand is going viral doesn't mean that you made it to the market first. And I think that is what is being lost in this conversation. That because Canvas Beauty and their body glaze has become this viral thing on TikTok with all these people, you know, buying it and reviewing it. You have all these commission-based reviewers. It's viral. Like, we can't even hate on the fact that it's viral. It's a viral product. But once again, going viral doesn't mean that you were first to market. And it also doesn't mean that you're the only one making money in this space. See, Stormy's problem, in my opinion, is that she feels like Melody Cherie is competing with her. And Melody isn't competing with her. I've not heard Melody say not one bad thing about Stormy's business. I've not heard Melody Cherie shade Stormy's business. And in fact, the only reason why a lot of content creators are are giving um, Stormy all the smoke is because Stormy has constantly been throwing shade at Melody. And if it's not Stormy throwing shade, it's Stormy's mother showing I'm um, throwing shade. Like I haven't forgotten seeing Stormy's mom make the polls talking about how Stormy has a warehouse and Melody is shipping products from her home. That's why people are coming out clapping back. And y'all can't say, oh, Melody needs to stop the content creators who support her from talking. First of all, I love Melody. But Melody, as I've said before in another video, Melody doesn't run my page. And she can't tell me what my opinions are supposed to be on things that I'm seeing with my own two eyes. And things that I'm hearing with my two ears that are working. So there's that. So let's go into or let's get into all these other companies who have been doing body glaze and body butters with the dessert uh, theme before Stormy even launched her body glaze. So first on my list, and if you're looking at my screen, you'll see the screenshot. First on my list is Shea Makery or Shea Bakery Skincare. And this is a black woman owned company. She is amazing. She's an artist as well. And her company launched in 2014. And she has like body oils and body mists and body butters. And she has a body balm as well. And the most unique thing about her company and the body butters and body balms that her company um, has available is that the lids of her jars, they look like cakes and donuts and pies right if you're looking at your screen you'll see them what you're looking at right now those aren't um just graphics of different pastries those are actually lids that she hand makes and paints herself and her butters smell 
amazing like if it says cinnamon bun on it it's gonna smell like cinnamon bun if it says that um it's chocolate chips it's gonna smell like chocolate chips and as i said she launched in 2014 y'all that's way before canvas beauty came out with these body glaze products and I see that Canvas Beauty also has body mists and body oils. And as I said, Shea Bakery also had in 2014 body mists and body oils that smells like pastry. So I want to know, did Shea Bakery go into the future and saw that Canvas Beauty was going to be launched in what 2016 i think is when canvas beauty launched and then the owner of shea bakery she said in 2023 canvas beauty is gonna launch um body glaze that smell like donut and um birthday cake so in 2014 let me do it like i, I don't know what is kyle saying because he's saying that products that exist that looks like the canvas beauty body glaze they are dupes and they're infringing on copyrights but shea bakery they launched their products and in a very unique way in 2014 and y'all can go to their instagram and go down their timeline and see for yourself that they launched their body bombs long before canvas beauty did next on my list is a company called glazed ish or glaze ish and they launched in 2021 and as you can see they have the word glaze in their whole company name and as i said they launched in 2021 from what i've seen on canvas beauty their body glaze was launched in 2023 now i don't know how long stormy had been working on it i went down the rabbit hole of canvas beauty's page and i didn't see any hints of her working on any body butters or body glaze until when she posted and launched her body glaze in 2023 so glaze ish is a black woman owned a company located in Mobile, Alabama. And if you're looking at your screen, you can see that their containers look very similar to Canvas Beauty's Body Glaze Donut um, container. So I want to know, did the ladies of glaze ish down there in alabama know that stormy was going to launch a body glaze and they decided to launch theirs in 2021 using similar graphics to the one that canvas beauty is using for their donut um scents body glaze i would like to know and again this is just me speculating and the ladies of glaze ish when you go on their instagram page you'll see them hand making their body butters their whipped butters and their body glaze right and glaze ish can be found in target and Urban Outfitters. I think they're located in um, other retail stores. But those are the only two that I remember from their Instagram account. And Glaze Ish, they also sell body oils and lip gloss that smells just like pastry. Okay. So once again, Canvas Beauty, not because y'all have gone viral with your intense and aggressive marketing campaigns over there on TikTok. It doesn't mean that y'all were first to market. It doesn't mean that y'all did it first. I'm just saying and speculating and giving my opinions. This is not libel, Kyle. I'm just asking, did Canvas Beauty 
copy Shea Bakery or did they copy Glaze Ish? I'm just asking. Is it rhetorical? It's not even rhetorical. It's a question. Not libel, not slander. A question. <laughs> now, y'all, here's another company. And this company is, I think, is owned by a white woman. I'm not sure, 100% sure. But the name of this company is Body Glaze Official. That's the name of this company. And they launched their vanilla bean ice cream scent, their body oil, their body glaze oil, on July 14th, 2021. Again, another company with glaze in the name that launched a pastry smelling product before Canvas Beauty. Are y'all seeing a pattern here or am I, am I on my own? Leave a comment below so I know how you see things. They also have a birthday cake scent and a pound cake um, body glaze oil scent. Next on my list is a company called Primal Elements. And they also have a body butter Um another pastry scent, birthday cake, and they launched in September of 2022. Once again, before Stormy. And they started out with soap. Well, they started out with candles and then they went on to um, bar soaps and then they did lotions and then these amazing body whips or body butter whips and they have like a cupcake collection they have a coffee collection they have like a vanilla essence collection so once again another company that were out here promoting their body butters and their body glaze and their body oils and lotions before canvas beauty launched their body glaze so did these companies dupe canvas beauty as well because this is what kyle is is out here saying i'm not making it up the comments are out there the whole post that he made is out there and him talking about yes they've I guess allegedly filed a lawsuit against those they think are duping and selling um the products. I don't know, but that's what it sounded like, right? And the thing is that in one of his comments, he was responding to someone's comment on Show Styles um YouTube. The person asked about the use of palm oil because if y'all are very environmentally friendly, then y'all know that palm oil is probably not the best oil to use if you want to remain an environmentally friendly company. And so all these companies that I have shown, they've used, they use vegan friendly products. So shea butter, organ oil or argan oil and coconut oil. And it's the flower oil. These are the ingredients in the body butters and body oils of these companies that I'm showcasing in my video. And I'm sure that there are more companies out there that were probably doing the body glaze with the um, pastry scents before Canvas Beauty. But these are the ones that I wanted to highlight because they go as far back as 2014, 2021, 2019, 2022, way before we saw Canvas Beauty begin promotion of their body glaze. Another skincare line that I want to highlight is Oryx Sense, and this is owned by a small business owner. She is a black woman, and she launched her banana pudding body butter around the same time that Canvas Beauty came out with their um, body glaze. They too also have other scents, but 
again, the point that I'm making is there are companies that were doing this before Canvas Beauty launched their body glaze. They might not have had the same name. However, if when you open their jar, it has the same consistency as Canvas Beauty's body glaze, then that means Canvas Beauty wasn't first to do it. And it's okay. It's okay not to be first. It's okay to have this viral product that's doing numbers on TikTok and doing numbers on different online platforms. It is amazing what Stormy has been able to achieve. However, if you're listening to the content creators who are reading court documents where Canvas Beauty and Stormy Steel are allegedly owing money to shipping companies and temp services and interior decorators, then it makes you wonder with all the money that Stormy and Kyle, they're claiming that Canvas Beauty is earning from their body glaze. Why are there so many court cases against Stormy and Canvas Beauty alleging that she's owing money? It should be a no-brainer if money's coming in that you are paying the people you owe. I mean, that's common sense. I feel like I feel like that's just good business, right? So Stormy needs to get it together. Kyle needs to stay out of these comment sections because you're not making it any better. You ask for us to show you the evidence of other companies that have done this before Canvas. And I just showed you like four. There is room for 7th Avenue Premier Skincare in the world of beauty products there is room for canvas beauty there's room for mayel there is room for Cantu. there is room for even me to come out with my own body butter right when you go into a supermarket you see all these different types of breads from all these different companies and you know what as a customer, you walk into the supermarket and you pick the bread that you like the best. There is a lane for everybody. And the reason why you can still go into the supermarket and find 20 different types of breads, obviously it's because all these companies are making money. If they weren't making money, then they wouldn't be on shelves. And it's the same thing for Canvas Beauty. In my opinion, as I've said before, Stormy is the one that started this whole narrative about private labeling or white labeling or what real chemists know or don't know. She started it. And obviously, if you are a fan of Melody Cherie and you realize that, wait, Stormy's post came right at the time when Melody posted something about her company and about her chemist, then of course you're going to feel like it's shade. And with everything else that's being said about Melody and her company from people close to Stormy, then I'm sorry, you're going to get smoke. Stay in your lane, Stormy, just like Melody's staying in her lane, Mayel is staying in her lane, and all these other beauty brands are staying in their lane and just handling their business. And in my opinion, Stormy didn't do anything new here when it comes to the body glaze. Having them smell like donuts or cupcakes or birthday cakes it's not something new. It's not some innovative idea like Kyle made it seem like it was in his long statement that he posted to show Stars and Spirits channel. And I think I've proven in this video that there are companies that launched their body butters, bombs, body glaze oils long before Canvas Beauty came out with theirs. What Stormy has done in terms of marketing is great. You know, you have all these commissioned based reviewers that, in my opinion, no longer sound 
authentic. They don't they don't sound like they are doing an organic and honest review of the product, but to each his own. If people want to listen to somebody saying, y'all, get in here. My girl just left me because she smelled like cupcakes, sunshines, and rainbows, and she got a new man. Like, if somebody wants to listen to that and go buy a jar of body glaze, then fine. I would implore y'all to also listen to the reviews that are not paid. And even if you listen to them and you still want to try it out, that's good for y'all and that's good for Stormy. Like This isn't about bashing Stormy's business or wanting to see her fail, but there needs to be more transparency in as to why she's been sued so many times for owing people, allegedly. There also needs to be some ownership on her part. Like her mom said, if I, her mom said on the reunion last, on the last reunion, that if she had put something out there in the public that was misconstrued and then people were running with it and, you know, saying all manner of evil or whatever, then she would clear it up. I feel like when Stormy made that post about how, you know, real chemists know, blah, 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 and how peep, some people are white labeling. And it all seemed to have come hours, literally hours after Melody had just posted her chemist and was just talking about the products that they're launching and stuff like that. Then Stormy should have owned that, yeah, I can see why y'all feel like I'm shading Melody and the launch of her new products but i promise y'all i'm that's not what i was doing i was just promoting my my company and i was just talking about business in the world of creating beauty products she could have said you know melody can tell y'all the same thing it takes a while to come up with these formulas which is why melody isn't just dropping products overnight. It took Mel Mel years. Mel has showed us the process. It has taken her years to come up with some of these products that we're seeing now as part of the 7th Avenue skincare and beauty care, hair care line, right? So Stormy could have, you know, fixed that, but instead of fixing it and clarifying it, she came back being more defensive, which only added more fuel to the fire. And not only that, her mom came after that, just saying some really gross things about this small business owner who is shipping products from a room in her home as if that's some crime. Amazon's founder, Jeff Bezos, that's what he was doing. He was shipping books and stuff from his garage when Amazon started. It's not in Mel's best interest at this point to run and go get a warehouse just to keep up with some narrative. She's making her money. She's keeping her overheads low. She has an amazing chemist. And I'm about to drop a video about Melody's process because someone had the audacity to say to me that when I posted under um, Kyle's statement, this person said that Melody's chemist isn't a real chemist and that she's not qualified. Well, I have the proof and I'm about to let it be known. Okay, so y'all, that's just how I see things as it relates to Canvas Beauty and this whole debacle and this whole conversation about what some of the content creators are saying about her body glaze. Tell me how you see things too in the comment section below. All right, y'all, thank you for watching. Please remember to like this video, share the link to my channel if you feel like my content needs some crowd, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. As I always say, walk good. Bye.